I was diagnosed anorexic in my 20s. I was diagnosed depressed in my 30s. And for the most part of my life, I just remember having this, this sensation of really, really heavy, heavy darkness sitting on my chest. But there's just one thing that have kept me really, really alive, actually, and, in, and just, you know, for most days, okay. Um, it's one practice in the last five years that I still do up until this day, and it's stream of consciousness writing. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do that and how that can be really helpful in keeping yourself balanced, more grounded, more clear, and just more attuned with yourself, your deep self. Hi everyone, I'm Ea Torado. I'm an energy healer and a dance artist. And through this YouTube channel, I share tips, techniques from meditation, from mindfulness, from dance, from yoga, and energy healing for people to have just better mental health, emotional health, and maybe even spiritual health. So let's get started. Step one, actually it's just having space and making space. So I usually do my stream of consciousness writing in the morning. I make sure that I turn off my gadgets and there is no distraction and it's a pretty quiet room. And um, that's it. It's just, you know, a couple of moments of connecting with my breath and just setting, you know, that intention of this is the time for me. Step number two is writing. So for some of you, maybe, you know, there is, you know, you can have a special notebook and then a pen, or maybe you're using your laptop, you're using just Microsoft Word. I would say um, this is a time for you to just let it all out. Brain dump, heart dump, don't edit yourself. Also write as fast as you can so that you're not editing with your mind. You know, what, is, what it is that you're supposed to write or you're supposed to say or like how you're doing. Actually let your hands take over some of my energy healing teachers once told me that you know our hands and our fingertips energetically are connected to our heart so there may be you know a lot of things that come up for you emotionally the previous day the previous week or something that you're kind of scared of the next 24 hours or the next week that you haven't really processed yet the stream of consciousness writing is a way for you to just get that out on paper and let it clear for you. Let let yourself clear the cobwebs, you know, that are inside of you and just give it all to that paper. And also to just keep in mind that it's not for anyone to read. It's not for anyone to judge. It's just between you and you, letting it all out on paper. Step three, I usually set an alarm. It's 20 minutes, you know, of the timer. And in that 20 minutes, is when I start to write. What that alarm does is it helps me write fast. Again, if I write slow, I would be editing myself in my mind. But if I write really fast, the words take over. My subconscious mind takes over. My heart goes directly on my hand and fingertips and it takes over. When you ring the bell, you could just stop. Again, connect with your body. Or, you know, sometimes, some days, there's more that, that, that wants to get out. And so I continue writing. So it's really up to you. And then last step is just, you know, after you've done that, just take some time and space again for yourself. Sometimes I drink coffee with this or tea, or sometimes um, it's just, you know, me and the writing. Another bonus tip also is that along with other holistic or natural ways to heal ourselves, to ground ourselves, you know, whether that's yoga or breath work, meditation, maybe some of us are into sound healing or energy healing through touch therapy. And, and I am just saying that stream of consciousness writing is something that's simple and you don't need much. You just need to make space and you just need to focus and do that activity. That's why it's natural and holistic. I would say you reaping the compound interest of that, it has to be a practice. So just give yourself, you know, some time, uh, you know, to dedicate, just to try maybe seven days in a row of doing this practice and see what happens. See if there are clarity for you that comes up, you know, maybe emotions that you, you're, you now have better process because of the writing and just feeling of, okay, I'm more ready for my day or I'm more ready for my, for my night because of that check-in that I've had with myself through this free form, unedited, no holds barred, just let it all out kind of writing. 
I hope this helps and um, let me know if you've tried it, if this resonates and if it does, just share your comment in the comment section below. You also have other links there for information about stream of consciousness writing that you could check out. And um, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I have a wellness retreat in June. Also, we can work one-on-one -on -one private sessions or you can join my monthly Patreon online community where I give tarot readings, where I give value movement, meditation, and just, you know, a space to hang out and be in a safe space. So, I send you so much love. Thank you for watching. <laughs>